Welcome back. Today let's talk about model observers. Uh, we will create a, a restriction, in fact, that I cannot edit any user only if I've, I'm the creator of those users. So for this we will use three methods. The first one will be the inline method when we write the valid validation of the restriction in our code, in, in our controller, for example. The second one will be uh, we will create an observable method in our model. And the third one will be that we will create an observable file uh, where we can add all these restrictions or different procedures. So let's get started and see how we can do that. Okay, so um, for different documentations, you may read the Laravel documentation page. It's an excellent documentation and uh, I recommend it, for, of course. So I'm not gonna write every observable because I've cre already created them, but I will explain you the, the idea. So we have in the table the user ID, okay? The user ID which I've added through a new migration. Uh, add. So I've created a new migration that adds a new column in our in our own table. Okay. So for this one, let's store a user. We may store a user with uh, a specified user ID like this: user ID equals auth user or auth ID. And when we create a new user, let me just disable this line. Uh, let me truncate the table. It's to be um, to have a better overview. Let's get a new user. Send unauthenticated. Why? Um, yes, because I've deleted all the users. Let me uh, migrate. Do a new refresh. PHP Artisan DB fresh migrate. PHP artisan migrate fresh. Okay. PHP artisan DB seed. Okay, let me just add this here and add a nullable. In fact, let's do something different. Oh no, nullable. It is better right like this. Migrate fresh and DB seed. Okay, so we have our users, and let's create a new user, PHP artisan tinker, and let's user find one create a token. Let's just create a new token. Find one. Let's assign it as a user. User create token API, for example. Okay, let's copy this token and add it to our new authorization bear token and send. So we, we have created the, uh, the new user and also as you can see we have the user ID. So this is our first method. The second method will be uh, we will delete this line and we will do it directly in our own model, user model. And we have this boot function and we have this event. Uh, also you may change, you may check the events, uh, Laravel model events. So for this you may search the events. We have multiple events, retrieved, created, created and so on. And we may uh, hook into every of these events. So for this we are using creating. Okay, and for example let's say 777 and uh, let's create a new user with the Gmail and let's say Yahoo yahoo.com and create it and you will see that in the database we already have the new user uh, id 777 which we specified but we will use auth id okay 
and let's create Yahoo too. And also have we have the new ID. Now we have the third option, which sometimes it's more elegant because there is um, an encapsulation of this functionality. And well, we create a new observable file. And for that, first of all, we have to create a new observable service provider. So for the for this observer to work, we have to create a new service provider, which will register the model to the user observer or for the that specific observer. So for this, I've created a user uh, uh, an observer service provider, and uh, let's see how does that look. Okay. So we have the observer service provider. It's a simple provider function. Okay, and we have the user the model and observe it will be used by the user observer file this is actually like the model file which i've showed you previously but uh, encapsulated in its own special file okay we have to register in a service provider okay let's test also this let's create a new one it will be 555 okay so auth user id sorry for the teams let's quit the teams okay and let's create a new user and also we have the user id so these are the restrictions that we can apply to the to each models through a model observer but uh, for this to be able to edit for example let's uh, uh, delete a user okay so we will delete a user uh, one second we will delete the user number uh, 100 okay so if we delete the user number 100 it will work and if you see the 100 is gone but for example, we should restrict the delete for only those users which we've created. Okay, there are multiple ways to do it. We will do the fastest one. Um, let's see the destroy method without the force delete. Where ID ID and without find or fail. We will use where user ID equals auth ID first or fail. So this was the. It's a simple. It's a simple. Um, as you see, it's a simple query where we do a where condition to see if the user is ours or not. Okay. So let's run this. For the user 99 okay and it said that the user could not be deleted because it didn't find the results for the model but if we want to delete the 101 like the dalmatians <laughs> 101 we are able to delete that line so these were the user observables and the small restriction but then we can that we could use so thank you for uh, thank you for watching this video and let's see each other in the next one cheers bye